Hello everyone, welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're in Buena Park, California at Knott Berry Farm, which has been transformed for the holiday season into Knott Merry Farm. Yeah, it's our first time here, and this is opening night. Yeah, but we've never been to Merry Farm, so I'm super excited. Come with us on this adventure. for Christmas. Are you guys excited? Hello? Okay, yeah, they're excited. So we arrived in Ghost Town, and this is our first stop. It is decorated to the nines with Christmas uh, decorations. And there's also outside vendors here on the street, uh, it, much in the same way that there is during Knott's Berry Festival. Yeah, I'm excited to see all the like little trinkets and stuff that they have. Who knows what we'll be able to find. One of these little vendors has like all these like prints and pins and even some stuff from Disney properties and nuts. They Mary have Farm. it all here. They have it all. So you can get Mandalorian merchandise here at Knott's Scary Farm or Merry Farm. That's <laughs> Knott's Merry Farm. Yes. We're going to go wish Mer a Merry Christmas to our old friend who's been locked up in this jail cell forever. Hi. How's it going in there? I've had better days, let me tell you. Uh, where's your Christmas tree? My Christmas tree? Yeah, the Christmas started tonight, apparently, here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I would explain why everybody's so holly and jolly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas, Christmas because we know that you, you were over here by yourself. Oh, I appreciate that very much. Hopefully I don't end up with a load of coal this Christmas. Oh, of course not. I don't think so. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Well, Merry Christmas. Well, Merry Christmas to you as well. Bye. Have a good night. You too. See, this is what I'm talking about with these like unique family made little booths around here. Like, you ever need a sign that says, you drink because you have kids. You get it here at Knott's Berry Farm. <laughs> so one of the things they do here in Ghost Town during Knott's Merry Farm is they do a thing called Snow and Glow. And wh mean. what is Snow and Glow? Good question. I'm really not sure. I think snow falls down and it also glows like Christmas. That would be my best guess. Well, we're going to find out together in just a few minutes. Because it happens a few times a night and one of those times is 6.30 and that, it, we're just a few minutes away. When we think of Christmas past, we usually find the simplest things This is the Home the Alone theme song. Happiness. It is a Christmas snow, that special snow that awakens the child in all of us. I want to see how much snow I could get piled on to me. This is fun. It's just like when it snows at the castle in Disney, but it's in more close quarters. Like I feel like I, we, it feels like it's snowing everywhere. Yeah. Because it's like the small main street street. This camera's getting covered in bubbles. I wonder if that's Worth a bad it. thing. Yeah, maybe the things we do. It's like <laughs> the snow's like going up my nose, but I love it. This is a pretty magical place. I will say that. That was awesome. I'm gonna tell you right now, I feel like that's better than the snow show that they do at Disneyland. It lasts longer, there's more of it. That's just great. There, there's a lot more of it. Like there, there's like a section over there on the ground of just like bubbles and kids are just like stepping in the bubbles. It, it's, like, it's like there's real snow in the ground. Bubbles? I thought it was snow. <laughs> Yeah, look at all the kids playing in the soap. So we are here at Spurs Chop House. They're having a media event here tonight. We're gonna get to try some of the food. Yeah, so much food. We're gonna try every single food item that they have. Yeah. <laughs> the thing I was most excited to try here is the turkey bites. This is turkey breaded and it has cranberry and stuffing inside. Sounds awesome, but is it? Let's try it. You see the cross section there? You have the turkey, you have the gravy, you have the cranberry. 
You have the stuffing. We know stuffing made me fat. This is good. This is good. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it's it's it tastes exactly what you think it's going to taste like. Thing that I was most excited to try that caught my attention right away was the holiday poutine. This has sweet potato fries, cheese curds, cranberries, turkey, and gravy. Smells and looks interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I love poutine. I love holiday flavor, so hopefully this is a home run. <laughs> um, I don't really taste anything. I feel like that's a weird thing to say. You don't taste anything? Like it just all meshes together in my mouth. Wait, okay, I'm gonna try this. Right? Like I guess all I really taste is gravy. Yeah, right? yeah, just like gravy over sweet potato fries. Not bad, but I'm kind of disappointed to be honest. But I'm still gonna continue to eat the rest of my portion here. <laughs> Cause I'm really hungry. Okay, next up, I'm gonna try the Mac Lorraine. And that is mac and cheese as white cheese sauce, bacon, chives, and non bread. We don't have the non bread here, but I'm gonna give it a try. It looks interesting because, you know, I'm not a huge fan of white cheddar cheese for mac and cheese, but let's see. This has a bunch of different flavor to it. It's, it's very good. It's not your traditional uh, theme park mac and cheese. I think some people won't like it because of that, but I, I, I am really enjoying it. I don't know how to describe it. Maybe you should get it, uh, try it. Ooh, it smells so, so good. Mm. Wow. The bacon really makes it, I think. This is delicious. Oh yeah, that's what I tasted. It was the bacon. The bacon was, uh, yeah, it did really make it. There's it like little of, pieces. It kind of tastes like scalloped potatoes. I mean, I know there's no potatoes in it, but that's like the flavor I'm getting with the bacon. Yeah. Delicious. They have this thing called fried green beans, which is their take on the classic like green bean casserole, which is my personal favorite thing at Thanksgiving. And it's just breaded green beans, mushroom soup dip with herbs and Parmesan. So you take the breaded green beans and you dip them in the sauce. I didn't do that, I just poured the sauce all over mine because like, you can never get enough of that mushroom soup sauce, if you ask me. Mm. Delicious. This is exactly, it tastes like green bean casserole. Just like deconstructed a little. Because the best part about green bean casserole is like those fried onions on top. I feel like that's what it's missing. It would be perfect if it had that. But still good. Okay, so this is the most interesting thing, I think, on the menu. This is what the kids are gonna go for. And what this is, is a Christmas Chicago dog. It has a Vienna hot dog, dill pickle, tomato slices, neon relish, mustard, sport peppers, and a green bun. That green bun is, I think, what's gonna get, like, you know. Wait, it has a neon what? Neon relish. A neon, oh, okay. <laughs> You're interrupting me, me eating here. What's I'm sorry, that? I was just confused when you said the word neon. Well, it's a neon colored relish. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Very okay. festive. It is. I'm just gonna stare at you like this while you eat it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my it squirted God. all over I the place. Hope, I'm not sure what happened. I hope we got that on film. Because I, I don't think you're oh gonna see this, but it squirted all over the place. Okay, it's a good hot dog. The, the pepper that's on top and the mustard totally makes it. I don't think you're gonna like it because you're not a big fan of mustard, but Ew. but you can try it. I'll try it. For some reason, I thought this yellow sauce on top was nacho cheese sauce, but now that you're telling me it's mustard, this is really good. I'm not. One of the guys from Podcast The Ride is right behind us. Oh my god, act natural. Act natural. I'm not putting that in the video. This is really good. I've never had an actual Chicago dog, but if this is anything what they really taste like, I'm a fan. They also have some of their famous eggnog. I'm gonna try that out. Does that have alcohol in it? No. Isn't it an eggnog milkshake? It is an eggnog milkshake. It, it tastes very good. It's very eggnoggy, very festive. Uh, I feel like a little eggnog goes a long way though. So, you, you know, this is a good drink to share with the entire family. 
They have this cranberry apricot wild boar sausage. It has caramelized onions, spicy mustard, and it's on a hoagie bun. Knott's Berry Farm has really good food. <laughs> this is good. I don't really taste the cranberry apricot, but it's just a really good sausage. I was wrong. This eggnog is good, it's addictive. I'm gonna go get more. I don't even get to try it. We're now moving on to dessert. We have a peppermint flavored croissant. This has some white chocolate drizzle on it. I'm gonna try a little bit bite of this. I gotta get some of this redness, hold on. The peppermint flavor is very light, but the white chocolate makes this a, uh, a nice little like fluffy dessert. If you like croissants, I'd recommend it. I have hit the jackpot, I think. I found a gingerbread churro with dolce de leche in the middle of it. It smells amazing. It tastes like a warm gingerbread cookie slash churro. The best of both worlds. I'm obsessed. Can I try a bite of that? Okay. Oh my god. Look at that. There's like, it's like coming out of there. Disney needs to do more of that. It needs to like put more things inside the churro. They just like start putting like different flavored sugars on the churro. We need to start injecting the churro. Let's start a petition for injecting the churro. Inject the churro. Hashtag inject Hashtag the churro. Hashtag inject the churro. Do you eat the rest of it? Mm -hmm. You know that I love peppermint bark. Well, here they have something called Christmas bark, and it looks all Christmassy. I mean, it is basically peppermint bark, but it has some like other stuff on it. Let's let's give it a try. That's thick. You know what I like in peppermint bark is when like it's actually crunchy, like you're crunching into the peppermint. This has a lot of crunch. It's a lot thicker than the Disney peppermint bark. I would recommend this. This is, this is good. See, to me, it looks just like a big chunk of white chocolate, which I'm okay with. Oh my God. I can't get over how good all this food has been. <laughs> this is really good. Some might say, this is like the holidays in your mouth. <laughs> Next up, I'm gonna try the Christmas cookie dough bites. Deep fried, looks amazing, let's try it. It's like sugar cookie dough right inside there, and that's gonna go right in my mouth. <laughs> I think I liked it, but I, I feel like the sugar cookie dough was a little bit uh, too wet. It wasn't formed enough. Yeah. But I, I would try it again. I got bak baklava, but this is baked right here on Knott's Berry Farm. We're gonna try some of it. It's good baklava, yeah. It's my review. Great review. Baklava. You heard it here first. It's baklava. I found the hot chocolate bunt cake. Looks like there's some marshmallows on top, like a real hot chocolate. No? This is nothing special. It just tastes like a store-bought, like, hostess cupcake. Honestly. Actually, yeah. It tastes like those... What were the... Were those hostess? The ones that were... That had the white filling in the middle? Yep. I used to love those as a kid. This is what that tastes like. So if you like that, you're gonna like this. There's Mr. Cheesy What's Pop up? right there. What's Cheers. your favorite thing here so far? The... The poutine and the, the Thanksgiving deep-fried ball. Yeah, what, oh. what is up with that ball? Why has Thanks. no one thought of that before? Yeah. <laughs> Nuts. I'm so full. There's so much stuff that we didn't even get to try because it's just like so much stuff. Well, I'm, I'm also looking down at uh, our leftovers here. Yeah, and I noticed like, that you've, eat, you've had two helpings of that eggnog milkshake so far, so that might be why you're so full. And there was a bunch of desserts that we could not try here, but they are on display. They have a bunch of funnel cakes that look all amazing and some donuts and some other stuff. I want all of this. I want it all in my tummy. 
we found some of the holiday merch. First thing that I see, they have some spirit jerseys. Let's go look at them. Not Mary Farm. These are nice. On the front, it's just like mistletoe. And they also have a red version. The snowflake. I'm really curious how expensive these are compared to Disneyland. Oh wow, they're the same price. Usually here at Knott's Berry Farm you could get boysenberry jam, but for the holiday season they have this Christmas jam. And apparently this was an original recipe from Mrs. Knott's. They also have these peppermint cake batter cookies, which also is inspired by Mrs. Knott's. Apparently she had a bunch of extra candy canes laying around and she told her bakers to bake a cookie with those extra candy cane pieces and this was the result. This seems right up my alley. We might have to get a box. <laughs> yeah. Merry Christmas! I love your outfit! <laughs> oh my, oh thank you! Wow! Aww. <laughs> and this candy cane of jams is actually something that apparently was originally in like 1960s and they, they found it in a catalog and they remade it. So it's a vintage piece of Knott's Berry Farm legacy. This is the thing I'm most interested in, boysenberry uh, coca. You think it's going to be good? Do you think boysenberry and, and chocolate mix? Here's the thing. Every boysenberry flavored thing that they have here at Knott's Berry Farm is amazing. I found these Snoopy Christmas ears. They're really comfortable and soft. How do they look? They don't look like ears. They look like... I don't know, they look like like you're wearing mini ears and they have deflated. So they look good? All the food that we got to try was so delicious and I am so full. I think we need to go outside and try to find that Christmas tree. Ghost Town's definitely my favorite part of Knott's Berry Farm, Knott's Merry Farm, Knott's Scary Farm, all three of them. The trio of Knott's Farms, Ghost Town. All the farms, Ghost Town is number one in Peter's book. That's true. <laughs> this place is pretty cool. It has like bags made out of like recycled materials. Like that's saying some kind of food ingredients or something. I know it. Santa's gonna bring you for Christmas if you're a good boy this year. I already got a bag. Oh, okay. This place looks like it has a bunch of custom jewelry. It's Creative Sea Creations Christmas Shop. And it's a lot of fun. We just try to keep the prices good. You know, 10 bucks or three for 25. Yeah, that's a deal. Yeah, people <laughs> love it. Dude. I found the Mandalorian here at Knott's Berry Farm. <laughs> I was just watching the show and I'm covered in big bubble snow. You know how like stunt spectaculars have like splash zones? I feel like at Knott's Merry Farm, everywhere is a snow zone. You're just gonna get covered in these, uh, in all the snow, all the bubble snow. I found the Polar Express. Do you think Tom Hanks is in there? Get it? Howdy. I remember you from Founders Day. Founders? Uh oh. Yeah. Well, I didn't mean to get thrown in jail. Yeah. It wasn't my fault. I know. I, I, yeah. I know. I know. So where are you going? We're going to the Christmas tree. They already lit it up, though. So. I know. We yeah, we missed they, that. They had a patrimony earlier. No, not pat matrimony. No. Oh. A celebration or something. <laughs> of some kind. So we found the Christmas tree. We found it. What do you think? It's beautiful. It's it is. Very classic. It's red and gold. Yeah, I like how simple it is. Yeah. You it, know, it's not trying to go for a lot of colors. It's very, uh, it just goes together. It's very nicely put together. Yeah, I feel that all the decorations here at Knott's Mary Farm, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I like them. Or I swear we haven't had anything to drink. Yeah. You know, much like Disneyland, this place is very beautiful during the Christmas time season. So uh, charming. It's charming. I'll be honest with you guys. On the way here, we left our house 
near Hollywood uh, at like 3 p.m. and it took us three hours to get here. Traffic was just insane. It was a Friday afternoon night, you know, right before holiday weekend. Yeah. And we didn't get here until much later than expected. So we didn't get to see any of the shows. Yeah, but there are a bunch of different shows. There's a bunch of Snoopy shows, there's Kalers, there's a bunch of fun things that unfortunately we just didn't get to see. Yeah, so we'll have to come back to you at a yeah, later time. Yeah, for sure. But this was a fun time at Knott's Merry Farm. Yeah, if you guys are traveling here for the holidays, make a stop at Knott's Merry Farm. It's so much fun. It's yeah. so cute. The food's delicious. I had a great time. Uh, you can check out our previous videos of Knott's Scary Farm and Knott's. Yeah. Uh, Berry Farm right above and what should they do if they like videos like this? You should subscribe to our channel. You should hit that like button all those good things You guys know what to do Thanks for watching. We'll, we'll see, see you in the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Ho ho ho